today I'm going to be making a propane forge. I've already made the propane burner in another video and today I'm going to put together uh, the actual forge. Uh, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this five gallon air tank. <clears throat> I'm going to cut the end out of it. I'm going to fill it with some refractory. I have refractory here but to give it some insulating uh, properties I'm going to put mix it with this perlite so it's more of an insulating refractory and um, basically this is a 9 inch diameter by 15 inches long so I'm going to shoot for a uh, 2 inch thickness all the way around and 2 inches on the back wall so it's going to end up being a 5 inch diameter by 9 inch cylinder which ends up being 255 cubic inches which from what I'm reading you want about 250 cubic inches per one burner so this should end up about the perfect size for a one burner forge so let me go ahead and start uh, taking this tank apart and start filling it with refractory all right my uh Depth of my chamber should be 13. I'm just instead of a uh, half of that would be six and a half. I'm just going to shift it forward a half an inch. I'm going to go straight at six inches. Slight angle. Well, here it is, ready for refractory. I got this hole cut out, and then I uh, ran a wire wheel around this and kind of deburred everything. Got it so I won't cut myself reaching in there. I cut the hole out for the burner tube, and then I took this inch and a quarter pipe that the burner tube's going to fit in, and I stuck it in there a couple inches just to form the refractory around. I just put a couple spot welds on each side. So basically, as soon as I get my refractory formed around that I'm going to cut these spot welds and pull this back out and then I'll weld it in exactly where I want it all right to mix my refractory I got this refractory cement this is good to 3000 degrees and then I got this perlite and what I was reading this is a half gallon I read that people suggested eight quarts which is this entire bag to this which I think sounds crazy so I'm going to start off with about half this bag to this half gallon of uh, refractory cement. We'll see how that mixes up and then I'll add more if I need to and uh, we'll come up with what we think's right here. All right, that is the uh, that is a half gallon of refractory and that is all eight quarts of the perlite. This was very difficult to mix by hand. Probably suggest having some kind of a painter on a drill or something to help mix this up. But there's our, there's our mortar mix. It's going to end up laying nice in there. So, all right, time to put it in. Okay. You can see the uh, forge running. mixture isn't quite right. Its uh, profile definitely changed when putting it inside of this, uh, this forge. The, uh, after this is said and done, I would not build this forge the exact same way. Um, and I would probably put a bigger air valve on the burner. But basically what I would do with the forge is I would cut this end cap completely off and then I would put some kind of a form like a 2 liter bottle or something down inside and then pack all the refractory down inside. So that's one thing I would do differently if I did this again. Of course like I said with the burner I think I put a bigger air valve on that so I'd have better adjustment. And then on the inside you can see the refractory, the surface is wanting to flake a little bit. I fired this up probably three or four times and um, I'll have to patch that with regular refractory. What I'll probably 
would do is I probably wouldn't quite mix it the ratio of refractory to perlite I would probably lower the perlite a little bit I think that's what's going on but uh, overall it works it uh, heats up metals um, so that I can uh, hammer it on the anvil so it does its purpose but uh, definitely I do need to do some tweaking and like I said I'm not going to show how I got this refractory in there it was a pain in the butt um, I had to do it as halves did a bottom half um, and then did a uh, the other half and then filled in the gaps afterwards um, definitely a pain in the butt with the whole end, reaching in the end cap to do it I definitely would cut the whole end off just put something down there as a form and then pack the refractory in there it would be a lot easier so but there she is that's the blacksmith for propane it uh, definitely does the job <laughs>